on Himalayan medicinal plant present and future prospect organized by Department of Botany Elizabeth Jordan Memorial College Leh. I extend to you all a warm and hearty welcome to Elizabeth Jordan Memorial College where we are honored to organize this national seminar on Himalayan medicinal plants present and future prospects. This event is a celebration of knowledge a convergence of expertise and a testament to our commitment to research and the betterment of society. We are privileged to have amongst us today two distinguished individuals who have graciously accepted our invitation to grace this occasion with their presence. Himalayan plants have an all history of being used as traditional medicine. Our written records of medicinal usage of Himalayan plants occurred in the oldest textbooks including Rig Veda, Artha Veda and Ayurveda. These plants have played a significant role in the lives of indigenous tribal people living in the Himalayas by providing basic food security, healthcare system in this mountainous region. In the first uh, board meeting, it was decided that we'll have seminars organized in different educational institutes, starting with the two uh, degree colleges of EGM and uh, Cargill. The Cargill degree college, they organized one in the month of June, uh, where Professor Math attended. Uh, and then now this is followed, that is followed by the second one, which is happening now in EGM college. And uh, this proposal was submitted by Dr. Konchok Dorje through us. Online they were submitted and then it was recommended by the SMPB. Uh, and finally, with some hitch which we, we, we had to face and then finally the uh, grants were released and today we are seeing that, you know, we have a, a seminar to be organized here. So if I go to the Eastern Himalayas, then we have the sacred lake, which was visited by Guru Param Sambhava during perhaps 8th century. Uh, Guru uh, Dongmar, high, highest lake and largest lake in the eastern Himalayas which is visited by the devotees. And then we come to the Ladakh, then we have Pangan, So and Somaridhi. This Karakoram mountain range, I am really bewildered to know that first lady she was an American who scaled these mountain peaks, Nunkun and even Siala. There is such an interesting talk by Dr. Murtu about what the State Medicinal Plant Board is doing, about the wonderful locations in Ladakh which has got so much diversity. And it was wonderful to listen to Dr. Vidyarthi, all the Ladakhi names flowing so easily out of him. Uh, so he seems quite an expert. This is such an important topic. I think dear to all Ladakhis because there are so unique medicinal plants available in Ladakh. Uh, as mentioned by uh, Dr. Om Prakash uh, that uh, uh, some rare medicinal plants are available in this region. I'd like to thank our guests of honor, Madam Kalma Ammo, IIS, Commissioner Secretary, Higher Education Department, UT Ladakh for gracing this occasion. This is three days ka seminar which uh, EGM College ne initiated. Kiya hai. It's very interesting. Biodiversity is on medicinal plants. Ke upar hai. Uh, researchers and students will be able to benefit from it. Look, how many states are there? Jharkhand, Chhattisgarh, Madhya Pradesh, where biodiversity, especially medicinal plants, is very promoted. In Ladakh, in the trans-Himalayan region, there is a lot of scope. 
बाकी सब स्टेट से ज़्यादा जितना हम मैं अंडरस्टैंड करती हूँ तो इसलिए ज़रूरी है कि ऐसे सब सेमिनार हो और हम लोग अवेयर करें और इसका कुछ आउटकम भी मैं चाह रही हूँ सेमिनार का आउटकम हो कुछ रिकमेंडेशन लेकर आएँ एडमिनिस्ट्रेशन के पास ताकि हम इसमें आगे कुछ काम कर सकें वाइस चांसलर ऑफ यूनिवर्सिटी ऑफ लद्दाख वॉज द चीफ गेस्ट ऑन द ओकेजन देन वी हैव ऑल्सो मैम पदमा अमोल है कमिश्नर सेक्रेटरी हायर एजुकेशन डिपार्टमेंट हायर एजुकेशन यूनिवर्सिटी लद्दाख शी इज प्रजेंट इन दिनोग्रल ओकेजन एज द गेस्ट ऑफ ऑनर टूडेज वर्कशॉप इज ऑल अबाउट हिमालयन मेडिसिनल प्लांट्स एंड प्रेजेंट इन फ्यूचर प्रॉस्पेक्ट्स सो इफ यू विल टेक ए लुक एट द मेडिसिनल प्लांट्स फर्स्टली फॉर एग्जाम्पल इफ यू टेक लेवेंडर Lavender has a lot of uh, you know applications. For example, if we if we can extract lavender or lavender oil from lavender plants, so that has a very lot of uh, you know lot of applications. Cleaning of our bodies. There are some insects which eat away the garbage, or one particular organism's waste is the food of another organism. So we have the food chains, food webs. पूछना चाहिए क्या है ये अगर कोई भी medicinal plants हो चाहे हम उसको कुरेत भी चलते हो. जैसे वी आर जस्ट स्टेपिंग डाउन द प्लांट्स बट दे हैव सम नेम्स दे आर दे हैव सम इंपॉर्टेंस इन यू नो लाइक इन मेडिसिनल एज वेल एज सम यू नो लाइक अदर सर्विसेज सो प्रोटेक्शन डेवलपमेंट एंड सस्टेनेबल यूज ऑफ ग्रासलैंड इज वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट फॉर द लाइफ स्टॉक मैनेजमेंट एंड द रूरल इकोनॉमी एज वी ऑल नो दैट दिस स्पीशीज आर द इंपॉर्टेंट for uh, their uh, medicinal uh, purpose because the root part uh, uh, possesses the some uh, important compounds like anti-cancer activities uh, compound like anthrocyanin which are avoiding uh, ruin which uh, are mainly used for uh, inhibiting the cancer cell one is the one they are they get their knowledge from the um, ancestors so i'm talking about these practitioners so um these are practitioners basically they are um, they are called the sovaripa sadhe actually the system is known as the sovaripa system of medicine where they use the plant or animal or minerals extracts and they use medicine out of it so uh, this this system exists in western part of ladakh then uh, in ladakh uh, like uh, we have uh, this amche system of medicine we follow uh, recently in 2020 second in the uh, the amche system of medicine uh, we call it now sovaripa system of medicine it comes it's now the sixth system of medicine uh, before it was only like ayush we have ayush ayurveda yoga yunani siddha and homeopathy now it is uh, sovaripa is also a part of the indian system sixth indian system of medicine